one of the SFC Conference. Let's get this show on the road. The day has begun. We are at Loon Mountain, heading on up the chair. I haven't snowboarded, with the exception of one little weekend, I haven't snowboarded in like six years. It's been a while, <laughs> but uh, I'm excited to head out with all these folks and I'm um, taking a pass here, first pass, just to see if my legs still do this. So the first pass was good. Took a handful of passes with the crew who I'll introduce you to a little bit later, but I needed to downgrade some layers. It's warm out here. It started off at like negative 10 this morning and now it's like almost 30 degrees. So it's, it's comfy. Dude, 
was it just off the hook today or what? It was glass today. It was it, firm. I, I, I bet it could be. I, I, I wish I was on my skis. Oh, oh, tell you what, I bet you could just like load any turn you wanted on, the on skis. On the it was just way, uh, way too firm. What? I was like trying to carve and I had to, it just had to make skis. I mean, it was negative eight this morning. Yeah. Yeah, but it's just been so good. Like, you mean like scratchy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like up on Walking Boss and stuff. Like. On skis, it would have been. Fun. It's just been so good. Like I like when I went the other day. I went. Chris, you ski, you ski steep single fall on New Hampshire runs. I ski windy Vermont in the woods. I yeah. What day was it? It was like two so days I mean, ago. My level, my level of good might be different than your level. Of good. Two days ago, I could make any turn I wanted to. Just I was yeah. throwing my hip into the hill. Yeah. It was unreal. And on the low angle stuff, it was it was good. I got to uh, I got to go into some granite backcountry stuff today for the first time. Dry, um, if you can grab your boots, yeah, I sub, we should have boots at some point. I'll get Mark oh, to yeah. set up for you and try to test out these findings. Deal. Once Mark is done starting his fire cheater style. No joke, wow, right? This thing tastes like <laughs> juicy. Ben. Juicy is what I want. Man. Beer. Juicy fruit. <laughs> hey, not. buddy. Once I get my my once I get my fire going here, I'll come hug you. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen this in action. You haven't seen this in action? Oh, that's right. You missed it. Last I missed year. it last year. Yeah. This is so oh. sick, and it just goes to the same flume, right? Really? I got it. Hey, buddy. It takes me about 45 minutes to get it done where it's kind of. Oh, yeah. I, I start the fire right under the flue. And yeah, then once I change it back, the cold one. Totally. And then like I keep it kind of in the middle for like a good long time. That makes sense. Yeah, you need a little sharpen on that, on that blade there, brother. It might be. You do. So that's what the thing about I love about your video. Because <laughs> you guys do things as well. I just do things. <laughs> just do things. Yes. I do love the Revitos for that. Uh, right, man? Okay. Uh, Alright, I'm recording. I started the video. I appreciate the freezer. Yeah. Hey, uh. 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 Hey, Smoke. They didn't know what to do because now they can't open it. And the thing is like in their hand. Oh, so yeah. you like reach the poker and pop the over there. That was. But ever since then, then, it was. Ever since then, it's not worked correctly. Goodness gracious, that is the most satisfying thing ever. That's yeah. very yeah. cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Up close. Hey, so uh, we've been just hanging out, eating some wood-fired pizza, and it's been a cool day. Cool first day here at the SFC conference, and we'll uh, see y'all in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is day two of the SFC Northeast Region Summit, and uh, I'm really stoked about this. We got uh, a bit of conference stuff today, so I'm going to learn a little bit more about SFC. I'm going to be able to introduce you to a few people. I'll introduce you to my brother, Mitch, who runs the show. I'll introduce you to Ben, who's doing my branding, and uh, you'll probably see Marcus Corey that you remember from the previous Loon Mountain video. 
yeah, there's some cool stuff happening today. Hope to take you along. We may actually even uh, do a little bit of backwoods skinning, which could be a lot of fun. But I'll take you along for the whole thing as best I can. All right, here we go. <laughs> Alright, so I'm here at the Northeast Snow Sports Ministries Summit. <laughs> That's the closest I got to it. But I want to introduce you guys to somebody. This is my brother Mitch. Right here. He is the director of the Northeast for Skiers and Snowboarders for Christ. But this is a pretty cool event. We're going to be learning from a bunch of speakers over here. I'll show you the room. There's a whole bunch of people hanging out, and we're going to learn about. A whole bunch of stuff about snow sports ministries and uh, the stuff going on with that, but yeah. Really excited to have everyone here, really stoked Ryan made it out for this. Um, yeah, so my role is the uh, regional director for the Northeast, which is basically New England plus upstate New York, and we work with communities and ski resorts, and we try to serve that group through the love of Jesus Christ and figuring out ways that we can partner with resort operations and local communities and things like that and uh, we'll come up with creative ways to help better people's lives and share the good news. It's pretty cool. Alright, so I got another person. You guys remember Marcus from the previous video. How you doing? Yeah, doing really good. Doing good. All right. Been really enjoying our hammocks. Been oh, yeah. Hanging out at First Light. Yes. And uh, we leave for the 18 in three weeks. Three weeks. You guys got to make sure to go check out their channel and subscribe to A Mile in Their Shoes. A Mile in Their Shoes. So I'm going to put a link in somewhere on the video. There will be a link somewhere for A Mile in Their Shoes so you guys can follow them. They're going to post, what, every two weeks? Every two weeks. Every two weeks. So you'll be able to follow along with the whole family and everything. So cool. Thanks, guys. Good seeing you. <laughs> One more person to invite to introduce you to. This is Mitch. Good morning. And Mitch is one of the speakers here at the conference. So Mitch, what is it you're going to generally be talking about? So I'm going to be talking about something called Fresh Expressions, uh, which is an organization uh, here in the States as well as the UK. I'm also uh, going to be talking about something called Church at Play. Um, what does it mean for us as uh, as believers to be fulfilling this cultural mandate um, and to be going out to where people are, engaging them on their turf, um, and uh, sharing the love of Jesus Christ with them? Cool. Hey, yeah, man, I appreciate absolutely. it. Absolutely. All right, so I got one more person to introduce you to. This is Ben. Howdy. I, uh, I mentioned Ben before in my update video, but Ben is the one who's going to be working on my branding, so he's been doing a whole bunch of stuff. Ben, you, how's it been for you trying to figure out what I'm yeah. representing? <laughs> well, I'm like on a, in a different weather pattern than yeah. you are like out here. <laughs> uh, no, amazing. It's been such an awesome process and such a cool to be able to tangibleize something that's so uh, so easily been able to like bring me you guys are going to be excited to see the stuff that Ben does. He makes some pretty cool artwork. So, thank you, thank you. yeah, be sure to be sure to like it, and I'll uh, put a link in the video as best I can, so you can see some of Ben's other stuff. Yeah, yeah, we'll be talking more about it too later. Yeah, for sure. Um, There's a lost people group right around us, a tribe of people who are skiing snowboard, and they have their identity wrapped up in something as silly as sliding over frozen water on a piece of plastic. I mean, they, that's who I, that's, that's what I am, dude. It's like, and that, that's, and we know, we're like, we can be these cultural ambassadors, just like someone who went to Africa and put on the clothes and did the dance with them, whatever. We, we are people, we're already members of this tribe, but we're also members of a much bigger tribe, a family, the kingdom of God. Most Midwestern countries. 
towns, you will find that there is at least a church in every little small community. To my surprise when I moved to Waterloo Valley, that we didn't have a church, we didn't have any faith base at all, anything, um, was somewhat surprising to me. I didn't put too much thought to it until actually I started playing golf with some of your guys, and we were talking about it, and I said, yeah, it's really odd. It's an odd, you know, odd part of our community that we don't have. So when I started just, you know, people in the community started to make a little bit more of a movement towards that, you know, you were you were just there, you know, you guys were both there helping, you know, just walking the walk. You know, it wasn't like you said earlier, I really like that analogy, you're not leading someone, you're not pulling someone, you're just walking with them. For me, first and foremost, I'm a businessman, I have to, I have to make money, I have to make sure that my resort stays healthy. Um, I believe that we're losing a lot of the driver that actually brought all of us into this industry. That's I, how many people here go to the mountain like I'm going to get an awesome exercise today. <laughs> <laughs> we don't go there because we're like, oh, this is such a this is so much exercise. And I, it's because you're there with your family. It's because you're there with your friends. It's because you're there with the community. It's because you're there with the people. So the part of our industry that I believe we're losing the most is the social aspect. I think at the time, as you know, Blue Mountain Ministry was a little bit of a rarity in the SFC world, but we're hoping that we're bringing more in because there are ski resort ministries all over the United States that really need SFC. share some examples of what this looks like and get everyone's gears turning and say, you know, how do I as an individual, you guys as you're receiving this, how do you go back into your communities and think, what does this look like for me? If we hadn't gone to Sugarloaf, I probably wouldn't have started skiing. And if I hadn't started skiing, there was no way I would have ended up getting a professional ski racer skiing for Jesus. Fresh Expression is a form of church for our changing culture, established primarily for the benefit uh, of people who are not yet members of any church. All right, so Ben and I are, are here. We've been working on my branding a little bit now that we finished the conference stuff, and I just wanted him to, to show you what he's been working on. It's some pretty neat stuff, so you guys will... It's almost there, so you, you, it's close enough that I feel comfortable showing all y'all at home, so show them what you got, Ben. Process work. Here we are <laughs> with the, uh, the in-person rough sketches for the new Roving Giant brand. Stay curious, my friends. So, yeah. yeah. It's been an awesome, <laughs> awesome process to work through. Um, what's something that's really cool about this piece in particular is that this is all hand done. And so, mm -hmm. as, as Ryan knows as well, this is all sketched out um, from scratch in pencil and paper. <laughs> Classic. Is that your car? Nope. <laughs> as I was saying. <laughs> That's so funny, whoever's pranking Somebody's us messing right with now. us, they're bad. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is all done in hand, um, which I think is a, a tribute and a, and a huge testament and core value of, of the brand of Irving Giant. And it's everything is, is foot by foot, you know, like you're in the wilderness and you're doing this as organically as possible. And so one of the, the things I've kept in my mind from the very beginning in this whole process, this whole journey, is that this branding and this logo identity is from scratch and my process from scratch. And that's, mm -hmm. that's the way it's it's going to be rolled out as well. Too. It's super cool. It makes me feel way more legitimate than I actually am. So it's really <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah. And uh, it's yeah. been such a such a passion project for me too to be able yeah. to collaborate with people that I know put so much so much detail and hard work into what they do and, oh, cool. and appreciate it and in, in my craft as well. So yeah, dude, yeah. I appreciate you so much. And <laughs> and you guys will be seeing some of this artwork popping up on on my videos in the future. I don't know if it'll make it for this video, but uh, you'll see it on future videos. And uh, I'm just. I'm excited about it because it's an excuse to work with a buddy. So <laughs> excuse to have fun for me too. Exactly. So <laughs> yeah. hey, we'll see you. We'll see you over on the mountain. You. <laughs> so I'm back at the Corys. We just finished all the Northeast Snow Sports Ministries stuff with the talks and stuff like that. And now a pile of us are gonna head to the mountain and do a little bit of skinning. Wow. 
tied in one direction and the other direction they, they stick. Um, so as you, as you climb, should be okay. So as you climb, this will just come up like a Nordic ski and you'll basically just slowly shuffle your way up. You'll, you'll slide forward. You don't want to pick them up like snowshoes. Okay. You want to slide them on the ground. Okay. And like then, Nordic skis. Yeah, like Nordic skis and you'll just stop. And then, you know, every time you slide, this goes up and down. If it gets steep, you can put one of these climbing bars up and it makes it less work on your calves. Makes sense. You can just kneel down and grab that. You can get creative and use your poles, but it's easier just to kneel yeah. down. Once you get to the top, first thing you do is take your feet out of the bindings. Then you take your skins off. Okay. Um, and how you take your skins off, you just peel this however you want. Like, you can flip it and then just take this and stick it to itself. Okay. Fold it up, stuff it in your jacket, put it in your backpack, whatever you want to do. Makes sense. And then the pins on yours. You've, I've shown you this, right, Ross? Yeah. My board is different than this, so I'm not even going to bother showing you this part. But pins out, board together, slide the binding on the puck. Make sure the buckles are on the outsides. Okay. So the buckles are on the insides, the foot's going to be shaped the wrong way. Makes sense. Um, Doing it so, like this. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right. All right, so I'm going to try split boarding. See how this goes. So far, split boarding is a lot like snowshoeing. It uh, just doesn't have the same style of grip. You need to make sure the whole surface of the board is, or the skis are on the surface of the snow. It's fun. It's beautiful out here.
Well, hey everybody. A uh, little bit of snow came into town, so I decided to skip out a little bit early before the before it got too bad. I had a nine-hour drive left to go, so I'm on the uh, ferry here between uh, Burlington, Vermont, and New York. And uh, yeah, this has been a fun trip, hanging out with everybody. I'm glad you got to meet some of my friends and my brother. And well, thanks for coming along. Until next time, stay curious.